Welcome to the first ever of your weekly appointments with the golf doc. Today we're out at Bridalwood Country Club and we're playing holes one through three. A little foggy this morning, but we're playing number one, 428 yard par four. Let's see if we can put one out there. So the first thing I'm noticing is we got a bunker left, we got trees right. Left looks pretty open, right is the driving range. I want to stay away from that, that's probably OB. So if anything, I want my miss to be left here. All right. That'll work. Hit that one pretty good, right down the middle. So let's go see how far we got. All right, so here we are on the fairway, a little damp but no mud on the golf ball. Let's see if we can see the flag through this fog. My range finder is fogged up. I cannot see anything with as foggy as it is. Saying 115, that seems about right. So we got 115 to the flag stick. With it being soft, you got a bunker left, so you want to err on the side of caution. I'm going to aim a little right of this pin. 115, that's typically my sand wedge. Um, but with it being soft, I get a lot of spin. I probably need to throw it 120 and let it spin back. So 120 is actually going to be probably actually a full sand wedge, which for me is a 54 degree. So what I'm doing here is I'm lining up with something in the background. You can see the hills back there. I'm gonna aim just on the left side of the crest of that hill on the right. And if it draws a little bit, then I'll be right at the pin. If it does not, I've got more green to the right than I do to the left, so I'll be putting. Let's see if we can do something here. Line it up, pick your intermediate spot. Right now I'm picking this little pebble, whatever that is, about two feet in front of my golf ball is my aim point. I'm actually going to aim between this leaf and that pebble. All right, so square up your club face to that intermediate target. Then line up your feet. Take a look at the flag. Hit your shot. Stayed straight. Looks about pin high. Get your sand and fill your divots. Don't be that guy. Flatten them out with your foot. Move on. Get a pretty good, pretty good little shot here. Got about, let's say, 10 to 12 feet here for my birdie. Let's see if we can drain one. Fix your pitch marks. I got my pitch mark right here. Outside in, outside push in. Flatten it out with your putter or your foot. All right. You can see there's a big swell in the middle of the green here. It's gonna be breaking right to left. I can already tell that. Look from both sides of the hole. You wanna get everything you got. Okay, so already I can see that this is gonna be a downhill putt. It's gonna go right to left. So even though I'm 10 to 12 feet for birdie, you cannot be aggressive on this because you don't want a four or five, six footer coming back and three putt for a bogey. So no one to take, no one to take your risks, no one to be aggressive. This is not a time to be aggressive, especially on the first hole. Par is fine. Just lag it down there. Basically, you do not want to three putt from 12 feet. If you line up the golf ball, line it up. I've been trying not to line it up. I've been putting a little better that way. So I've got a spot. Again, I'm picking a spot. I got a spot right here that I want the ball to go over. All right. Let's see if we can drain one here. Again, I'm just gonna lag it down there. I'd rather have a one foot tap in par than a six foot comebacker for par.
See, I barely tapped that. And now I've still got three and a half feet coming back. Imagine if I would have been aggressive. Get your par, get out of there. So that putt actually broke a little more than I anticipated and it was quicker than I anticipated. As you saw, I, I planned on lagging that down there and I was still three feet past. Had a little bit of a tester coming back, but went ahead and drained it for our par. Let's go to number two. We got number two, par five, 536. There's little to no wind right now, okay? So typically I'd be telling you where the wind is, but we don't have much wind right now. It's a little foggy, a little damp. Ball's not gonna fly as far. So you can see we got a bunker on the right and the left. The bunker on the right is about 230 to clear. The bunker on the left is about 295 to the bunker. As wet and damp as it is, I don't think I can get to that bunker on the left. So if I'm playing a draw, I'm probably gonna aim at that bunker on the right, let it draw back. If it doesn't draw 230, I should be able to clear that. We got trees on the right. Left again seems pretty open. So I'm gonna play away from the danger on the right. All right, so if something like that happens, reset. Find your aim point, pick you a spot. I got a spot right here that I'm aimed at. Line up my club head, line up my feet. Get your ball position correct on your driver. Pulled it just a little bit, but we should be left center of the fairway, right at that left bunker. Again, I hit it good, but I don't think I can get there. Appreciate you hanging out with me, playing this three-hole stretch, your weekly appointment with the golf doc. Be sure to hit that subscribe, like the video. I'd appreciate it. Okay, guys, just as I thought, just short of the bunker here. I got about, hit that about 280 or so. Probably didn't get much roll. We're about 250 out. I'm going to zap it with the laser if I can. We'll see if we can get there in two. Got 252 to the flag stick. That's probably about a perfect three wood. As you can see, I'm not sure you can see it on the video, but we do have a bunker right. Left, I don't see any danger or bunker. Way left, looks out of bounds, but we're not gonna go way left. The pin is between those two smaller trees. And uh, typically, you need to play to your strengths. If you don't hit your three wood good, this is a perfect layup opportunity. If you don't hit your three wood far enough, this is a perfect layup opportunity. Again, let's line it up, pick you a spot. I got some little debris here on the ground. Feels like this ball is a little bit on a mound. So I'm gonna choke down ever so slightly. Hit you a smooth shot. All right, pulled it a little bit. It's at the left side of the green. With this fog, I can't see it down. Made good contact though, came out a little low. That's okay. A decent miss. Let's go up there and get up and down for birdie. Hit a pretty good three wood there. Uh, came out a little low, a little left, but there shouldn't be any danger over there. Again, I was playing away from the danger, which is that bunker. If I was gonna miss, I was gonna miss left. There was a bunker left. I could not see this from the fairway, but there's the pin, perfectly pin high. Let's see if we can hit us a good bunker shot, have us a good attempt at a birdie here. Bunker shots. You wanna pick a high lofted club, all right? You wanna gauge the distance. You can see that this one's gonna break a little bit right, so I'm gonna aim a little bit left. All right. Now with your bunker shot, you want the ball to be up in your stance, just off your left heel probably. You want that club face to be wide open. 
And if the farther you go, the farther you want to hit it, the more closed you want to close that club face. All right? You want to have low hands. Bend those knees. Keep those feet quiet. Dig them in. All right? Have an aggressive swing. You don't want to decelerate. You want to hit about an inch and a half to two inches behind the ball. Your main objective here is to get out of the bunker. Do not leave this in the bunker. Didn't quite hit that enough. So it's short. And you saw how much it released to the right. But I'm putting for birdie. That's what we want. Rake your bunker. Don't be that guy. He was determined. All right, so we got us a birdie putt on number two. You can see someone did not fix their pitch mark. Fix your pitch marks. Don't be that guy. And the reason I'm out of breath is because I'm running from a bee. It's because I'm a pansy. All right, again. <clears throat> Look at it from both sides. We know it broke that way out of the bunker. Get your breath. It's going to be uphill. It's going to be left to right. This is when you can be a little aggressive because it is uphill. Play a little bit more break than you anticipate. Because as it dies, it's going to turn pretty hard. All right. So line it up. Pick you a spot and execute the putt. That was a little too aggressive. I'm not sure you can even see that that far past. Good Lord. Here's what not to do. Blow it past six feet on an uphill putt. Still trying to figure out the speed of these greens. Still, that was not a good putt. So now, I've got an absolute tester coming back for par. You do not want this. Let's see if we can drain one. Keep the momentum going. Whew. Makes the comebacker. Saves par. Moving on. I saved par there. Green's a little quicker than I remember. That was a horrible first putt. Blew it right through the break. Had about six feet coming back. I was able to make the comebacker stay even. Now we're on to number three. Beautiful par three. 187 is what it has on the card. Pin is in the back, so it's playing a little over 200 yards. I've got my five iron, which is usually around 200, 205. Again, with the fog, it's gonna make the air a little damp and a little heavy. What that means is the ball is not gonna fly as far when it's like this. So, this is gonna be a full five iron and I'm not really trying to get it all the way back there. I'm trying to hit it in the middle of the green, make good contact, get my par and get out of here. You're not gonna birdie a 210 yard par three, most likely, all right? So you got water short right, a bunker short right, you got two bunkers back left. I'm gonna aim at that second bunker more towards the middle and hopefully it'll hit, have just a little baby cut back towards the flag. If it doesn't, I'm still fine. There's more green to the left than there is to the right, so aim left of the flag. Pick you a spot, line up your club face, then line up your feet then hit you a solid shot.
and I pulled that one also on the left of those bunkers. Softly. We'll have to see where that one ended up. That was a little bit of an over the top pulled left. Didn't hit a great one there, guys. I, uh, okay contact, just pulled it, came right over the top of it. A little double cross. Drew also, so I'm gonna be left of the green and left of those bunkers. Should have a fairly difficult chip here. Um, goal is to get up and down, but manage your expectations. Know that a bogey here is just because of one shot. Your, your tee shot caused that bogey. Let's go see where we're at. So I've been looking for my ball for over three minutes now. That's the rule. Cannot find it. You can see here, there's this thick stuff to the left of the green. I know it's in here, but I can't find it. So we're gonna play a lost ball. Lost ball ruling is stroke and distance. So I gotta go back to the tee box and hit my third shot from the tee. It's unfortunate, but that's golf. You gotta play it the right way. So let's try this again. Five iron again. See if we can hit a better shot. <clears throat> That's much better. Let's go find that one. A little too far, hit that one too good. Through the back of the green into the bunker again. So let's hit another bunker shot here. We're hitting four up and down for our double. You can see it downhill to the hole. So you just wanna get this one out, but don't be cute. Don't leave it in the bunker. It's gonna roll out quite a bit but that's okay. All right, I'm trying to hurry. I got some people coming up on me because I got that lost ball. So, one thing you need to do when you hit that shot, it does go best past the hole. You need to watch it as it goes past the hole. You can see which way it was breaking. Luckily today, there's a little bit of dew on the green still, and I can see where it's breaking. So, went one, lost, hit two, dropped two, hit three from the tee box, four to here. This is for my double bogey, unfortunately. But every stroke counts, so concentrate like you would on a birdie putt. Broke too much. And man, these greens are quicker than I think. Triple. Ouch. That's disappointing to end this appointment with the golf dog with a triple, but you did get to see a lost ball and the ruling and how to play it. So stay tuned. Next week, we're gonna do some different holes. Hopefully we'll play a little better. Two pars and a triple. Hell of a way to end.